Dentistry involves a lot of instruments. If you're a dental student, you know that. Take a look at my table here. This is just a small part of what we need. I'm gonna start with the biggest instrument we have here, which is the amalgam carrier. Now what I love about this is the fact that it feels so solid. If you're in dental school, you know there are a lot of amalgam carriers out there that feels a little bit flimsy. I don't know if you've broken them, but I know I've broken mine because they just feel so flimsy. This one feels very stable. As I'm pushing that, I know my amalgam's gonna get packed well. Another one of the basic instruments that I have here is the Explorer. You may not put importance in this, but for me, I love how sharp it is and how thin it is. Because sometimes there are Explorers that cost considerably less, but when you look at the tips, they're really off. They're not even, they're not sharp, they're not pointed, they just feel off. Now, another thing that's great about this is the fact that it feels very balanced. Okay, as I'm holding it here, it feels comfortable, it doesn't feel like it's dropping off to the left or to the right. Next up, we have this spoon excavator. Another one of the basic instruments that you're going to use, of course, in dental school and in everyday practice. So the spoon excavator, if you don't already know, is used for removing the soft dentine without burp. So basically just using hand movements. If I take a look really close here, you can see that it's quite sharp on both ends, which means minimal effort for me when I'm doing manual debridement of cavities. Now we have the amalgam plugger. Interesting thing about this one is that there's a little dip and a notch, or what do you call this? A little flat area here on the handle, which actually distinguishes it from the other instruments. If you look at this part, this head is the big plugging head, and here we have the slimmer, thinner plugging head. Again, allows you to work with both wide cavities and small cavities. Next, we have the football burnisher. Now, of course, the football merging shirt can be used for smoothing amalgam and contouring the matrix band to that little curve that you like to use so that you can get your matrix to hug better when you're using amalgam. This is actually one of my favorite ends to use. And here when I'm doing smaller anatomy. Here we have the acorn burnisher, which has a triangular shaped tip for both ends. One's a little bit wider, one's a little bit narrower. If you aren't familiar with an acorn, they sort of look like this. This helps when you're trying to carve your amalgam before you get it to your final form or shape. Next, we have the cleoid discoid. We have the sharp end and, of course, the disc end. With a sharp end, this helps again with the final form of your amalgam. When you're trying, when it's getting a little bit harder and you're trying to carve and make your line angles a little bit clearer, this helps a lot, especially this point right there. And of course, removing a little bit of the excess helps with this, this end. So now we have the Hollenbach Carver. If you take a really close look at this, it's really sharp and it's angled in a specific way at the tips. I really like this because when you're trying to remove line angles, especially if you're in dental school, it's quite hard to control the burr. When you're trying to remove the line angle of the burr, sometimes you just cut it all or you actually ruin your prep. So this, you can just scrape through the preparation and smoothen out those line angles to create that bevel that you need. Before going into ultrasonic scalers, we also have the manual scalers. Yup! Do this by hand, folks. Using your strength, dexterity, and skills to remove plaque. They used to do it back in the day. These are pretty common. Again, they have thicker handles compared to everything else. It's because you need to be able to control the force a lot better. And with thicker handles, it's a little bit less tiring when you're working with such small areas and your grip is a lot better. So this is the set that we have from Premiere, which works great for dental students. Do I recommend sets? My answer is almost all the time, yes. Why is that? Because sets are made to work together. They're made to work efficiently. They're made to work with each other. Back when I was in school, I used to have sets from all kinds of companies. It was a set from this guy, this guy, that guy, that guy. And when I started working with them, they just didn't work well together. It didn't feel efficient, it didn't feel correct. And you're like, why does this thing not fit properly with this one? Of course, they weren't designed as a set, they weren't designed together. 
This premier set that I have here is for dental students. It works great for dental students, especially the amalgam set. And you will immediately notice the increase in your productivity. Or maybe even your amalgam fillings will start to look a lot better. So if you're in dental school and this seems a little bit overwhelming, the handles are actually a guide as well. So these ones over here with this type of handle that's just a little bit thinner, a little bit more serrated closer, these are for your practice or basically your phantom head practices. So it's quite easy to distinguish them. If you look at these, they're all thinner, the grooves are a little bit closer. You don't need much force or control when you're starting to practice anyway on the phantom head. But again, when you go to Life patients, this probably won't work so good. And if you look at this one here, it's a little bit bigger and it has a distinguishing feature of having the grip all the way on the end. This tells you that this instrument is supposed to be used by holding this part and applying pressure on this part. So I've separated them here and as you can see, it's a lot easier to tell which goes where, what is for what. A little bit daunting when you're in dental school, but you'll get used to it. That's why we call it practice. So that's it for now. We're gonna leave a description down below for all the stuff that we feature here. Other than that, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.